Dana White saying, go believe what you read on the internet. And that was it. They didn't say nothing else about Conor McGregor. And UFC 300, that was, was good. That was good. It was a lot of good fights. You see, without Conor, without the stance of Conor McGregor, was Conor McGregor gone? You see, that was a good, that was good fighters. Those were good fights. And post fight press conference, Dana White was Dana White was so happy. Dana White was so happy. Fight of the year, Max Holloway. It's like sit, sit like sit, sit in the movie. Dana White was walking on water, grinning ear to ear. Dana White went on and on. He felt so good about himself. Dana White was so proud of UFC 300 and he said, man, it was good. The UFC 300 was good. post fight press conference. But out of the corner of Dana's eyes, Dana White noticed someone approaching him with a small note in their hand. Dana White, at that, right at that moment, he began thinking, mm, what the fuck is this? Did a plane fall out of the sky on his house? Was somebody in a wreck just the building on fire? So they bring Dana White up. Someone brings Dana White up and they lay it. They hand it to Dana White and he keeps it at arm's length. And he reads it. Because he's not sure he wants to read that. He said Dana White said something like, what was it? First time this has happened. Now it seems like since Dana White is the head cheese of the UFC, and since Dana White and Conor McGregor are so damn close, it seemed like Dana White could have come up with a better way to announce those fights. Oh, some shit happened behind the scenes. Dana White is being informed on a stick on a little note. Right. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. And Dana White, he bought some time and he mud mumbled him in. And he stared at the piece of paper like there was a lot of shit written on that piece of paper, but yet there was. Not a lot of shit written on that little piece of paper. He wasn't reading all that. It was a few words written on that piece of paper and it said something like, announce, I will fight Michael Chandler, damn it. And Dana White thought about it. He could have done, Dana White had options at that point. Dana White could have left that sticky note, like that, could have left that note, that little piece of paper that all that shit was written on. Supercast don't think all that shit was written on that piece of paper. Those first two fights, Dana White just thought that shit up. He just thought that shit up. That's it. Because he didn't want to make out like he was just reading whatever was on that note. He didn't just say, announce that I will, Conor McGregor did. He told Dana White, announce I will, he will fight Michael Chandler. Announce it, damn it. Obviously, Conor McGregor knows a lot of shit on Dana White. Dana White, he, he kept that note at arm's length. He didn't, it's like he didn't want to slide it over, over close to him. He didn't want to accept it for a minute. He wanted to process it by a little time. He contemplated, he could, Dana White could have left that note laying there. He could have read it from afar and just left it laying there not said a word about it, whatever it was. Nobody would have thought anything about it. Just an unusual occurrence, something that... So Dana White made up, so-and-so will fight, so-and-so, and this person will fight that person. And, and, then, and then Dana White. 
He's just with his eyes. And that's to give the people a cue. You're fixing to hear something big, something big, to elicit a response. They know why he, he grinned real big and did his eyes like that, look down, he's still thinking, what the fuck is he, how is he gonna say this? They don't want to know he shouldn't have said that Conor McGregor will fight Michael Chandler. They don't want to know he shouldn't do it. But at that very moment, they don't want to gamble and he just said it just to put it behind him. Just living for the moment. Just live for the moment. Con Conor McGregor in Ireland, Conor McGregor is in deep shit. He's spinning around the toilet bowl and he's hanging on to Dana White's legs. Dana White's holding on to the to the bowl, to the side of the toilet. Conor McGregor's holding on both of the Dana White's legs and they spin around and around and Dana White's grip is slipping away. So Dana White announced that fight. So Conor McGregor fans, if you believe Conor McGregor's gonna fight Michael Chandler, you little, listen ladies, go buy your tickets. Book that shit. And <laughs> buy your airplane tickets. And, and when you show up to that, to UFC 303, and Conor McGregor's not there, look at yourself in the mirror and remember it's Super Case. Told you so. <laughs> I just remember Super Case to laugh at you. <laughs>